We have this uh, adjustable setup for a handheld and it can pull all the way straight out of there and it has four little uh, rollers on the bottom which uh, help it support it and then also keep the, the tip to a certain uh, specific range off the sheet metal height wise. And that's attached to a swivel set up here and it goes right down to our plasma cutter and I'll just make an adjustment here we'll turn it on and we check the air on it we have air to it so ready for that part of it we're going to turn on the, the console and it's already turned on you can see the light on there and we're going to just jog <clears throat> that part back and forth so you can kind of see it jog back and forth and you can set the speed on it stop it at any time bring it forward bring it backwards whatever you want to do so the reason for the jogging is you want to be able to get to that particular piece of the metal that you want to cut we're just going to cut a little pattern here Nothing fancy. This was for a little solar project I did for uh, the panel adjustment. And so we'll put that right down there. And I usually use a couple pieces of tape just to hold that in position. And so at that point, we're just going to lock in to our part. We're just going to go into a lock in position. And then once it locks in, we can set our speed. I stopped it. We're going to go back jog it, lock in, I'm going to slow it up, go into the low range and reduce the speed for the cut. It's very thin um, aluminum that we'll be cutting right now. So you can see it's going to be uh, jogging in and now it's locked into position. And all we have to do is turn the plasma on, we do that manually. Speed it up some. I just clamped the sheet metal because it's such a light piece so you can see the way I clamped it down so we can cut a little piece and uh, not drag it along. So we're ready to start the process again. So I'm just going to uh, start my lock in. I press this button and then I lock in and then it's going to just follow that circle. And then all I have to do is turn my plasma cutter on. And I'll follow that. Once that happens, I stop it, then uh, we're going to jog to the next part of this cut here. We're going to get right into the center of that. We're going to, again, lock it in, bring it over, and then we're locked in. And all we have to do is turn on the plasma cut again. And we're all set. We just finished cutting that. We'll jog it over. Get it out of the way so you can see the cut that it did. Yeah, and this is only thin gauge aluminum. So we just stopped right here. And we can stop in a few different positions. We can turn it off here. We got low, high speed here on this range here. And then another speed control here. This is Kerf. Um, depending on what side of the line you want to cut to the outside of the line, you can adjust your kerf here, uh, which means um, you can bring it away from the line a little bit so it's more even to the line and make an adjustment there for that. And then you have all your jogging positions and um, whether you want to be on the inside or the outside of the line, those uh, buttons there. But here's the piece that we just cut. 
And so it's real easy to make patterns. It doesn't take much to do that. I have a few here on display and there's some in the past here. So, but uh, this is a, uh, the system here is, is all on uh, bearings and uh, I have a rack and pinion over there on that side there. So um, this is the conclusion to this uh, video. If you have any questions, um, give me a shout. I'll be happy to reply.